In this session, let's learn about chemical reactions and equations. We have already learned that whenever a chemical change occurs, we say that a chemical reaction has taken place. When a chemical reaction takes place, we observe any of the following changes. Change in state, change in color, evolution of gas, or change in temperature. Let's look at some examples now. Rusting of iron has a change in state. You can observe a powdery substance, which is iron oxide, on the iron when it rusts. The powdery substance is yellowish in color. In the chemical reaction of dilute sulfuric acid on zinc, there is evolution of hydrogen as well as rising temperature. Can you think of some more chemical reactions and observe changes? Symbolic representation of a chemical reaction is called a chemical equation. In other words, any chemical equation represents a chemical reaction. An experiment of magnesium ribbon burning in oxygen can be written as magnesium and oxygen gives magnesium oxide. This form is called word equation. The substances that undergo chemical change are the reactants and are written on the left hand side. In this example, magnesium and oxygen are the reactants. The new substance formed during the reaction is the product. This is on the right hand side. Here, magnesium oxide is the product. There could be more than one product depending upon the chemical reaction. We have still a shorter way of representing a chemical reaction. This form is called chemical equation. Mg plus O2 gives MgO. A complete chemical equation represents the reactants, products and their physical states symbolically. Here, magnesium is solid, represented as S within brackets. Oxygen is gas, represented as G within brackets. And the product magnesium oxide is solid, again represented as S within brackets. We'll learn more about state representation later.